Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to, to this uh, review on this wonderful new map uh, that I've downloaded. Great man, okay the map is from Holland Land, uh, the map is called Holland Landscape. I've downloaded it from uh, um, Holland Modding and uh, the map is called Holland Landscape. It's a small map, not very big. I think it only, let's just quickly have a quick look at the map, how it looks. Uh, 29 fields uh, available for, for plowing and for growing fruits, of which you already have one, two, three, four, five fields. But unfortunately, I can quickly see a problem. It's all grass fields by the looks of it, if I'm correct. Let me just stand corrected and have a look if they're all grass fields. Uh, okay, that one, that one, that one. They are. They seem to be all grass fields. Ah, oh, okay. All right, which means that you won't be able to sow anything at first, and you also start the game with your. Depending on what level, I've just picked the easy one. Uh, when I normally start a map, I just grab the first one that's available, which is easy. So you start with twenty-five thousand bucks, which is obviously. Uh, the standard for for easy mode one thing I've noticed is the poor guy I'm gonna fire this uh, driver of mine because uh, look how he parked this bucky how should you get into the van it's quite crazy <laughs> well, I won't even talk about me running over the bonnet eh? <laughs> but anyways uh, yes back to the map uh, fruit types well there's not very much fruit types all the basics so yeah, it seems like a very simple plain map, um, and uh, I believe there is some more animals on it. Um, but let's get first to the to the basic stuff. Uh, let's look at our surroundings. The the farm where we are is like in the center of town or in the center of the map or not really center center, but yeah, close to center. And yeah, I always enjoy it if if. Uh, um, if if your farm is close to central to everything you know it just means that your trips to your fields and everything is it's less time consuming and going to your uh, different outlets yeah it's just easier so so yes that's more like my opinion obviously it doesn't really matter that much um but yeah like i say it's a small map not very big um, all the basics is on there. There's, there's the shop. Here's the, the selling point for your animals where you can buy and sell animals. Um, there's the cow farm, the pig farm. There's two, looks like it, and the sheep is there. Uh, there's, yeah, the chickens is on the farm, obviously. And then you've got your normal few outlets to sell. Um, uh, Tundel, garden center. There is a garden center. The station, uh, which is nice as well. Pallet sale, spinnery, stand and sawmill, grain trade, and another station. Uh, Agravisser de Fruche. <laughs> Sorry, man, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So it is got all the basic stuff on it to enjoy. Now let's just have a quick look what you start with, vehicles wise. Uh, you obviously got your famous uh, rodeo pickup, uh, which to me in my country it will be a Ford pickup, not a lizard. I don't know what a lizard is. <laughs> to me, a lizard is something that creeps on the ground. Then you got the, the Kramer KL30, which is at, um, we can actually, that is the um, telehandler. Let me quickly go to the, this is actually much easier to check your vehicles here. Uh, I think this is Steyr or what's this? Uh, doesn't matter. It's a tractor. Uh, there's another one uh, that's New Holland, and there's the KL30 um, case tractor for 145. So it's all uh, from small to medium tractors, not really big tractors. But yeah, it's a small farm. You don't really need something bigger than that. The TC590, which is uh, New Holland, very nice. Uh, trailer, not very fond of this uh, trailer with the doily in front, you know, but uh, yeah, it is a trailer. I normally sell these quick and just buy a decent uh, single uh, single uh, um, axle trailer or with one connection beam. What do you call those thing in the front? 
uh, water tank, nice. Another one of these. So this this is more like a twenty one thousand liter trailer. The other one uh, is less. I think these guys are uh, either eight and a half or maybe it could be the fifteen thousand DB eight. I'm not too sure about that one size. Plow, potato planter, nice. That's your normal thing for your headers. Uh, I'm not too sure what this is. Is it a water tank? No, it could be a manure spreader. It's possible. That's mower, manure spreader there, definitely. Fertilizer spreader, and that's some uh, um, bucket for your things. Grass mower, another one, and that's for your telehandler. That's your cultivator. Nice sewing machine. Nice, this little sewing machine. Um, I quite enjoy these because they also fertilize while they sow, so it's not bad at all. And then obviously a little roll belt baler for round bales, header, and this could be, I can't really see what this is, Fennec 605, could it be a tether, I'm not too sure. But anyways, um, for vehicles, that is it, uh, what you get to start off, and what I like is they are all brand spanking new, except for the poor rodeo, which is a very old rodeo, 96 days, my gosh. We're going to have to do some uh, fixing on that thing. So otherwise, yeah, well, maintenance isn't that bad at the moment. When they go into red, yeah, you get problems. So maybe it is maintained. Wonderful. Okay, and then finances. Do we start off with a loan? Yes, we've got a 50 grand loan, which is um, normally just standard, you know. And I don't really see any other animals. I thought there were some more animals here. It's just a normal pig, sheep, and cows. Okay. All right. And then obviously you guys know the statistics and all your settings and what's that. All right. And we're back in the front. Okay. Wonderful. Let's have a quick browse around the farm. To have a look what this is all about. Um, farmhouse there, that side. It's a nice wood lying around here. Wonder what Farmer Bob can do with this. Build a new shed. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. All right. In here, there's our telehandler, some of our tools, nice big shed, place for refilling your sprayers. Out to the back. Nice. What's this? A generator? Yep, it's a generator standing around. Okay, wonderful. There's all our trailers and planters and cedars and whatever. So I want to make sure of this tractor. Was it a stayer? Yeah, it was a stayer. Yeah. Okay. Stayer multi. 4095. Not too sure of the horsepower of this boy. Let's have a quick look. Always interesting. Uh, multi. Must be this one. Yep. 82. It's 73 kilowatt. Totally standard entry level tractor for the farm. Nice. Alright. I think the case was probably the bigger one there. Between our tractors. What model is this case? 1455, yes. 1455. Tractor to start with. A little bit bigger. Did I miss it? Yeah, we go. You see, that one's 107 kilowatt. I think that's our biggest tractor. We also had that new Holland there, which I'm sure is about 80 or 90 kilowatts. I don't think it's much more than that. It's an 834. Oh, no, wait, this is a four wheel drive. Very nice. Uh, this one could be could be a bit bigger. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 8340. 92. Okay. 90. It's 8340. Did I check correctly now, guys? Am I in my car? <laughs> oh my gosh. 8340. Yes. 92 kilowatt. Okay. So we've got the three. Small, medium and large tractor, which is sufficient for anything you want to do on this map in any way. And our... Uh, our New Holland um, DC 590 is totally capable of handling, handling the um, the map. It's not a big map, like I say. Okay, excellent. What's in the back here? There's a caravan, guys. We can even go camping. My word. I totally don't think this thing is operational. It's just a just a muck up. <laughs> oh, I was walking through this. Yep. If they do that. They are definitely not usable. This one is, seems to, quite solid. But anyways. Yeah, I one time learned the hard way, you know. If you walk through something, know that you can't use it. I was trying to fill my 
trying to fill my uh, fertilizer with at the fertilizing tank which was <laughs> one of these it was just a feature it wasn't a real thing so yeah i had a quite quite a good laugh there after discovering how stupid it was to try and fill it there but yeah lesson learned you know nice big empty storage rather put the tractors in here man much better than standing out in the open even your 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 um, fertilizer spreader I mean if there's some fertilizer left in there and it gets wet oh my word then you got troubles guys troubles okay this is our our uh, storage facility fairly nice just don't know why that pipe is hanging there does it swing over automatically when you try to offload from the storage I wouldn't know but normally it hangs overhead in this case it's not okay I wanted to look at this thing current court to this must be for liquid manure definitely liquid manure that's what this is for look at that little honey sucker pipe that's what that is for sucking all the honey out of the tanks so yeah definitely liquid manure that's to transport that and obviously look at this hose going in here yes boy <laughs> okay wonderful what's this thing here it looks like one of those bale loaders for the telehandler but yeah let's not worry about that now can this door open oh yes yeah this is for the milk milking stable now these doors i normally leave open because you ever always go through here with vehicles and that no reason for this to be to be closed these however you want close you don't put your animals running around on the farm then we have here obviously um, obviously uh, uh, your place for you to, to convert your your hay and straw into um, silage it's your silage place to create silage interesting very nice now it looks like a, like a small farm eh guys I'm sure this is going to be farming very nicely um be nice to uh give this game a, a play and see what it what it's all about streets are narrow um let's go for a quick walk around in town um let's go for a quick walk around and see this here is our station um i don't see any trains on this do you guys see trains um so obviously I don't see any trains so obviously uh, uh, you won't be using the trains but let us do a quick jog out here I normally take the rodeo out um, to go around but I mean you can do it like this you click on the field and you say visit then you can have a quick look at the fields let's have a look what this field is okay it's 1.8 hectares so yeah if you can see guys it's not really big fields and if you look at the map on this field field 27 it's 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 a small field compared to some of the big ones but i mean there is ones that are small smaller or similar in size rather so yeah you can get an idea that's 1.8 so this might be a 2.2 .2, uh 2.2 that might be a 3.5 this might be a 5 let's go there and just have a quick look I wonder if you can see the size there if you click on it do you no you don't really see the size but yeah let's go that way uh, and then let's go there that I really go there visit all right and then press R to see this is a 10 hectares guys a 10 hectare field so if you look at this which is 10 hectares yeah it gives you an idea so that must be like a six or a seven five four yeah so average the maps on all the fields aren't that very big you know all right let us run here we, we wanted to quickly visit um, we were there we wanted to check that out which is up to the station so let's run there quickly have a look well, the trees aren't bad they look nice 
right, so here we have obviously a this is Dutch Mudding. That's where we downloaded the map from. If you guys are interested, you can download it there. And um, I'm going to show you a tip or give you a tip in downloading this map. I said it um, in the description. What I've done is uh, for all my things that I don't really want to become too much involved with, you know, I've created at Gmail a fake account uh, for all this annoying things that you have to register and register this and register that. I don't know about you, but it's like totally ridiculous where ev everyone wants your email address. So yeah, I've made a fake account to to just get get rid of all this nonsense, you know, of uh, registering this and registering that. Um, so yes that's what i've done to get hold of this map i've made a fake account and um well it's not really a fake account it's a real account that i've registered with gmail but i mean fake account it's not really my account that i use i just use it to get all of stuff that i want <laughs> like for instance this map i was interested to see why this map had like 500 downloads you know so yeah and um to tell you the the least of all i'm a bit surprised there's nothing much fancy about this map you know what what is it that people love so much about the map i don't know um, i like the flowers there's a lot of flowers if you look at the fields look there it's pretty you know trees are nice one thing i'm sure you guys don't know if you know it but you can actually climb trees in um in um in this game I just want to get up the tree this is a difficult lead to trick to climb <laughs> you just actually choose something better like this one here I think this one will be easy oh let me just show you guys it is possible to climb trees in in this game I have climbed trees before e -e 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 -e. come on why does it not want to climb trees today? There you go, man. There you go. I bet you haven't seen that before. <laughs> oh, and you can only climb the big branches, guys. Don't try and climb the smaller branches because you will fall off. <laughs> I don't know if you can get hurt, but anyways. <laughs> oh, I just thought I'll give you a laugh there, you know. Anyways, here we are at the shop. And this is obviously what is this? What is this? Is this the modding station? Oh no no, this is for selling your 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 your, uh, your, your cows and things. All right, sorry. And then obviously this side is your shop, which is also probably a good idea to open this gate now, because when you drive here. It's quite annoying to have to get out of your vehicles and uh, open the gate and that. There's the bank, there's the shop, and this is for customizing your vehicles. Nice. What I normally do also when I start the game is I buy my own workshop for the farm, you know, because you sometimes want to customize things. And I mean, spending all the time driving out here, not that it's far from the farm, but I mean, it's so much easier if you, if you actually just go and purchase your workshop, you know. I've got mine under placeables. Uh, I've got a mod for a workshop somewhere. Um, let me just show you guys. You can also get this from modland.net. That's one of my favorite um, favorite uh, download sites for for um, farming simulator. So I love this game. It's very very nice and realistic. I mean, I've played. Have I missed now the workshop, guys? Did you see it somewhere? Sagwerke, it's not that. Sorry, I, I, I'm like very bad at doing two things at once, you know. So I just want to check. Uh, I've got a workshop here somewhere. Machinery shelter? No, it's definitely not that. Small shack, greenhouse, beers, vehicle shelters, vehicle shelters. Vehicle workshop, man. There it is before your eyes. Farmer Bob, are you blind? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, so I, I normally just place this on my farm. And there you have it, you know. 
quick and easy customization to and even selling your vehicles you know uh, which is quite handy to have um, aren't you I'm not too sure if you can sell at that workshop that you buy I'm not too sure guys uh, I think you can't sell at that but you can customize which is nice um, yes all right so yeah that's a quick look at that so have a quick stroll here through the town just to see what the town is like what's in town and I suppose this is like a average Dutch town you know because since this is from Dutch modding I suppose it's like a little Dutch village settlement beautiful scenery guys uh, small roads though um, you're not gonna quickly drive with big vehicles on these roads um, okay let's give Australia through the back one thing I must say uh, with these um, most of these little um, maps and things well not all the little ones but I mean in general the guys normally chuck around little gold nuggets lying around all over the map and you have to collect a hundred of them has anyone ever collected a hundred nuggets that's I would love to know guys put in the comments if you um, have ever found all the gold nuggets on a map there yeah, I would really like to know if someone has ever done that that would be awesome <laughs> I mean, I've uh, not that I've tried, but I mean, I think the most I've collected was 12 or 15 <laughs> on a map. You know, I'm not like forever looking around for gold nuggets. But anyways, if stuff happens, you see it lying around and that's it. Okay, uh, it's got the sawmill as well. Let's quickly give a chuck down to the sawmill. And get an idea. Where this is the sawmill here. Is this the sawmill? There's a lot of uh, um, sawdust lying here so it must be the sawmill and you can sell your eggs here at the sawmill how appropriate eh sell your eggs at the sawmill hmm i wonder oh, but this can't be the sawmill's egg selling because here's here's some uh some seeds here on this so it just might might just be i wonder what this place is it's the grain trade you see this is where you can buy buy your seeds okay and you can sell eggs here hmm interesting interesting very interesting okay what else is there on the map let's do a quick visit there to the sheep pen this is where our sheep is can walk around not that I really understand how this operates because I mean if you think of it um, do you own this piece of land Purchase water full point. Okay. How much does it cost? Just want to see anyway. Would you like to pay to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling of the sheep water thorough maintenance cost 20 per day? No. Okay, so you can uh, you can either give your sheepy um, manually water or you can you got the option to fill it up. I better close this gate because otherwise this farmer will be very sad with me but now this gate doesn't want to close what I've seen sometimes is if you stand at the normal spot if you see that gate open through the fence <laughs> okay wonderful oh my word all right okay so uh, my question was if you don't own that place uh, can you put sheep on it because field six is there five is there and the sheep pen is there so do you actually own the place it's a bit confusing I don't know if you own the place let's visit the, the pigs but mind you I think there is pigs here close to the farm no that's cows sorry chickens obviously on the farm is always chickens but here is the piggies okay so piggies that side and piggies this side Let's have a quick look there at the piggies. Let's almost start you on top. This is like a farmhouse. Oh my gosh, I wonder who lives here. No neighbors. Oink, oink. Let's see what's in here. Can you open the door? Nope, that door doesn't work. Was this one of those big things where you just open this big door and then in there will be all your piggies? Yeah, we will know now. Purchase waterfall point. Okay. 
So I suppose um, how this thing operates is you have to obviously probably purchase these things. Look at this little hidden... St what on earth will you put up there? And that's a good question. I've got no idea what you would be wanting to store out there. You know? I don't know if you guys can tell me what will you store up in that little loft. Uh, okay. Another one of these places where you can put things. I'm not too sure what you put in there, but I suppose anything like grass or whatever you want to put in there. Potatoes. Since you potatoes eat are eaten by pigs. Uh, you know, if you look at your animals, your pigs, they do chow. Potato, sugar beet, canola, sunflower, soybeans, wheat, barley, corn, straw. One of the most uh, difficult animals to keep is the pigs, looks like it. Because look at all the stuff they eat compared to the other. The easiest one is the sheep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that, guys. Let's quickly have a look what else is there on the map. So, you start off with two, four, five fields and no, um, no fields to to actually work all grass fields so and how many animals do you start with absolutely zero okay 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 that is a big problem and you only have 25,000 bucks so it seems to me like you've got a choice when you start this game um, either sell some equipment that you don't use like for instance that telehandler if you're not going to plan on working with animals right away if you want some fields I would suggest buy a field close to the farm um, or what you can do to make it easier is take a field that looks fairly nice like this one and plow it plow that field and there you go let's quickly look at for instance field 22 what does field 22 look like are we walking on field 22 already yep here it is this is a beautiful beautiful grass field and you can plow this field and put a crop in here, man. That's what you can do. Plow it and put a crop in. What I normally do to, to plow a field like this is so easy, guys. You won't believe. You get in your tractor. You get course play, course play up in your tractor and set a field boundary. And just plow the whole field. And there you go. Make a nice square field or whatever you like. Uh, doesn't really matter make a square or a, a rectangular field from this you can easily make a rectangular field if you look at this here uh, let's go up here and zoom in on the field you see you've got a nice line there so you take it down there and then up to the edge and then right up to the top and then back that way so you've got a nice rectangular field and that will that will be your startup you know one field there that one is an odd field. This one has got potential again to plow. And even this one, if you if you consider uh, chucking away this point, you can actually get some nice plowing in there. Um, so that's one, two. This one you can also do. If you, you can work that edge, bring it down that way and bring it in there. And then make it a long, nice, long field. So yeah, there is options here if you want to sow and plant. going to take a bit of work, but I mean, you've got all the equipment. You've got a nice plow to, to run with. Here it is. Uh, this is a 2-meter plow, so uh, very master 153. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, that plow, very master 153. Here it is. It is a 2-meter plow. Yes, so not... not too fond of it or rather exchange it for this one you know three meter plow um, although course play is going to do the work for you and doing small corners and that with a smaller plow it's much easier than using a huge big plow with all this nonsense of reversing and whatever so at the end of the day guys um, that's what i would do i would um, definitely jump in plow that two three fields um, and immediately start uh, planting on that and there you a for away you can start your farm 25,000 bucks it's more than enough if you short a bit of bucks do a bit of work around on some of the fields and you're happy 
You're happy chappy. <laughs> okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, yes, guys, what else is there? What is else is there to talk about? We've we've had a quick run through on your startup vehicles, which is all all is what you need to, to get going. Uh, at the start of the game I normally also what you can do get a, get a bit of extra bucks is to just quickly have a look what you start with uh, crane wise. Oh my word, everything is empty. Ah oh, that's unusual guys. That is very unusual to start with nothing. So you don't even have anything in store. So obviously you won't be able to start with animals because you don't have bucks to buy animals, you don't have bucks to buy feed or anything. So uh is there any yeah you got nothing, not even seed. So so I will start plowing, planting. Do a uh, um first thing I'll get rid of for instance is um the stuff I'm not going to use at start. For instance, this telehandler. Give you a lot of bucks. And don't just sell it off hand like some guys do. Drive it. Take the time. The, the shop isn't far away. I mean, look at the shop from the farm. It's like just around the bend. Drive this thing to the shop, to the, to the workshop bay. Repair it first. And then you sell it. You get much more money that way. Uh, so I'll sell that thing. If you look at the price of that thing, the KL30, let's have a quick look. What is the KL30? What you can expect to get for it. Um, telehandlers, telehandlers, telehandlers. There you go. KL30. Where is it? Oh, oh I did I miss it. Uh, MLT840. Which one is it now? Am I confused, guys? What's happening here? It's a KL38.2. Why is it not in the shop? Am I missing it? Oh, you know what? It's a, steer, it's a skid steer loader maybe, is it? No, it can't be. What else? It could be a wheel loader. No, it can't be a wheel loader. It's one of those blonde moments again, guys. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm not confused now. MLT840. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I don't see it. What else is there? It's not a wheel loader. I'm sure it must be a telehandler, man. It's definitely not a skid loader because they're small. Small things. Am I missing something, guys? Or am I just being stupid? This thing, by the way, if you just sell it from um, sell it from the garage, if you're in your garage, let's go to that uh, front loader. It's a front loader. What is that doing on the front loaders? There's no front loader that. This is a telehandler. But anyways, you can sell it for, uh, let me just have a look, sell that. 50 grand, you see, 45 grand, but that's offhand, don't sell it here, take it to the, take it to the, um, to the shop, let me quickly do that for you, give you an idea, they call this thing a front end loader, how on earth do you call this thing a front end loader, It is a nifty little tool, I must, I must admit, you know. I uh, just want to see, uh, not too sure where the road is on this place, but here we go. Not too difficult. <laughs> I would have thought that this is uh, a telehandler. It's a Kramer. Um, yes, guys, I haven't set up the steering for this uh, yet, so... Um, I better just have a look at the map. Where is that shop now? It is. There it is. So you just carry on with this road. It's supposed to be going in here. Farmer Bob, what are you doing? You can't just drive through a guy's field. Let's take a shortcut here. <laughs> Luckily I know this farmer guys. He's got no problem with me. 
we are very good friends so he's got no issue with me driving through his field so yeah let us just go around here uh, am i being uh, totally crazy now guys okay so you have to approach it from the top <laughs> right <laughs> Oh my word, it's another blonde moment. Okay guys, here we are in Green City, we are here. I just want to show you this, it was 44 there, eh? 44? I'm just going to dump that thing there, so otherwise this thing is going to get confused. You jump out. Uh, do a quick repair on it. And then you sell it. Uh, where is our sell point? There we go. 44 or 54. You get 10 grand more by bringing it here. Now, is it a lot of bucks or is it a lot of bucks? I mean, 10 grand, guys, just by for driving it here. So obviously, you'll just sell that, you get 10 bucks, 10,000 bucks extra. I should have actually just pushed that, but anyway, it can lie there. It's all right for now. Um, uh, the point was, I just wanted to show you that you get much more money uh, for selling something here at the shop uh, than just chucking it out of your garage and selling it there. If money is not an object, then I yeah, don't care, you know. But if if you like start off with little money like this game, then yeah, every every little penny counts, guys. Okay. Anyways, um, what else is there to talk about? So yeah, there you have now like almost seventy almost 80,000 bucks to start the game with and it was so easy and simple uh, another thing in the immediate start uh, that I always get rid of is round balers I don't use round balers they are too difficult and too uh, slip to work with so that even that can give you another 60,000 man and I tell you what you are a, a for a way to start the game and have a lot of fun guys that's what it's all about uh, you can even start it this way on medium or hard mode, you know. Um, it will help you to give you that startup funding. Especially in this game where you start with nothing. <laughs> Except for 25 grand and a few implements. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I hope my review of this map has been uh, inspiring and uh, maybe just give you some more info. Um, to pick up this map is easy. You just register there at... Um, at the guys at um, what's this guy's name Dutch modding Dutch modding and just download the map there and like I say to jippo that or to get around that I use my fake account which I use for all this nonsense registrations and that and then you can just get your hands on whatever you want um, and that way you don't have to compromise your email you know um, I mean the mail that you always use so yeah quick good tip there from farmer Bob it's not uh, it, nothing wrong with it, but it's a way to get around uh, not getting junk mail and stuff in your primary email. Guys, I hope this has been enlightening and I hope this has been as much fun to you as for me. <laughs> so, uh, yes, take care, man, and have a wonderful day. Farmer Bob, guys. Cheers. <laughs>